Na katika mezani ya haki ni kuwa mwanahabari wa runinga ya Citizen Jack Maribe hamachili wa huru kwa damana shilingi milu moja pesa taslimu. Hakitoa muzi huo, Jaji James Wakiaga hamemuageza Maribe kutosoma habari wala kufanya mahojiano yote kesi na poendelea. Na yopenzu wake Maribe Joseph Irungu hataendelea kuzuiliwa korokoroni hadi tarehe 27 mwezi juni mwaka ujao. Jaji Wakiaga amesema kuwa Irungu anaweza kuitilafiana na mashahidi katika kesi hiyo. Mahakama kuu jijini Nairobi imemwachilia kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni moja mwanahabari Jack Maribe ambaye anakabiliwa na shtaka la mauaji na mfanyabiashara Monica Kimani. Akitoa uamuzi huo hii leo jaji wa mahakama kuu ya Milimani James Wakianga amesema sababu zilizotolewa na upande wa mashtaka za kutaka Maribe kutowachiliwa kwa dhamana hazikuwa na uzito huku akizingatia umbi la Maribe kuwa ni mzazi wa mtoto mmoja hivyo anahitaji kumwangalia mwanawe kwa ukaribu wakati kesi hiyo ikiendelea. The prosecution raised only two issues against her. That is to say she is an influential media personality who is likely to imitate and influence the nature of the case. B, her house is a secondary crime scene and some potential witnesses are her employees whom she has authority over. The following facts emerges from the affidavit by the prosecution and the second accused person. She is a well-known media personality with influential pro, uh, friends as confirmed by a letter attached to affidavit from the Senator for Nairobi. Her employer is very supportive of her as confirmed by the letter attached to the prevail report. She is a mother of one with very supportive family and friends. The fact that she was in love with the first accused is not disputed as confirmed by affidavit. The only issue in this dispute is whether she is person who is likely to interfere with witnesses or evidence. The only witness named is the second accused herself, and to my mind, her evidence seems to be related to what the prosecution calls secondary crime scene, whatever that means. As submitted by Mr. Katua, the accused was arrested 10 days after the commission of the offense, and there is no indication by the prosecution that the second accused interfered or attempted to interfere with the witnesses. Aidha jaji wa Kianga ametoa maagizo kuwa Mariba akisema kuwa akipindi chote cha kesi harusi kuonekana akisoma habari kwenye runinga wala kufanya habari yoyote ambayo unahusiana moja kwa moja na kesi hiyo. Wakati huo huo makama hiyo imemnyima kwa dhamana mpenziwe Maribe Joseph Rungu kisema imezingatia ombi ya upande wa mashtaka kuwa huenda katatiza ushahidi wa kesi hiyo hivyo anafaa kuzuiliwa mpaka uchunguzi wa kesi hiyo utakapokamilika who was allegedly with him at the scene of the crime. There is a material placed before the court to the effect that after the commission of the offense, the first accused destroyed or attempted to destroy material evidence, including an alleged piece of clothing which he had worn on the material day. The first accused is silent on this material. The first accused is known to the family of the victim, including a brother who has sworn an affidavit confirming that he is the one who introduced the first accused to the deceased. This is an allegation once again of factual nature, not yet uh, tested by your examination. There is an allegation that once again of factual nature, not yet tested by your examination that the first accused has been positively placed at the scene by way of identification parade. And since the first accused is alleged to know the scene of the crime very well, I find that there is a possibility that he might know the identity of those witnesses and there is a possibility of interfering with them. Is he a flight risk who is likely to abscond the jurisdiction of this court? The picture that emerges from the prosecution's evidence are set out here in above <coughs> and the prevail report of the accused <coughs> is that is a male version of Slay Queen, which for lack of better terminology, I'll call a woman eater. Jaji wa Kianga pia ametoa agizo la kuendelea kutibiwa kwa irungu wakati kesi hiyo itakapokuwa ikiendelea mahakamani. Anne Mashereke TV.